they're playing really close to making big plays, but they just haven't. And Madison said, you know, there's sort of that edge you go over where almost being able to execute versus being able to execute getting the pick. Obviously, you're a guy that can get the pick. Do you talk to them after plays like that where it's it's just time, it's just focus? Oh, absolutely. I mean, you got to let it run its course. And, you know, as a, as a competitor, he's going to have his, his ups and downs. You know, he's going to feel some type of way about the play. You know, I just try to get him, you know, whenever we come in for the next practice, which may be Sunday or Monday or Tuesday, and just try to talk to him. If, if, if it's nothing more than, you know, seeing him in, you know, on campus, if I get a hold of him on campus and just talk to him, see where his head at, make sure he's okay. Because, you know, he's a freshman and, and it's hard. You've got to establish confidence to play corner. And if you don't establish any confidence, you're never going to play up to your ability. So just making sure that he has his confidence back, which he does, he'll be fine. How much has it been stressed to you know, not let anything behind you? Cause that's kind of kind of got bit a little bit against. Uh... Well, you know that's 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 something that starts with the head coach from to the coordinator to the position coaches. You know, no big plays in the defense, and really as as a secondary, it's come down to us. You know, no big plays, so because we are the last line of defense, so it's definitely stressed every day to us. To have given up as many points as you have in the last couple weeks, I mean, does it sort of leave a sour taste in your mouth that you had to sit with over the bye week? Absolutely, it's unacceptable, and uh, we know. We know what happened. We watched the film. We made our corrections, and we can't have that happen again if we want to uh, accomplish what we, we set out to accomplish. When you say you've made the corrections, what ex- exactly you know did you see on film that you've changed? Um, it, was, it was really just eyes, focus, leverage, technique, just attention to details that we weren't we weren't executing. So we got to execute. I think guys know what to do. We just got to execute better. In a game like this, where it's Michigan State's defense is so stout. You guys are going to kind of have to match that. Is there an even bigger emphasis than normal on the big plays and not giving those up? Because, you know, it, it could likely be a three or seven point game and that could be the difference. Absolutely. I mean, this is Michigan, Michigan State. We we know what we have to do. But I think we're going to do a great job in preparing for that. So, I mean, preparation is everything. We've been preparing since January. So. But as far as the big plays, have you put more emphasis on stopping those this week um, or looking at how to stop those? I think so. It's really just about execution, like I said. So we got guys in the right places. We just have to execute and make the play. Like, what was your initiation to this rivalry? Was there a moment in the 11 game that you said, whoa? Um, I think just getting off the bus for me. We hadn't been to many. We hadn't been to many away games that season, and just just riding in the East Lansing, and getting off the bus, really was, was an eye opener. Taylor, Taylor. What, was, what did you see? What, just, what, what was all types of things? Just um, from the, from rowdy fans, people throwing stuff. You know, it was at the just, bus. No, it was just a, a hostile environment, and you can tell as soon as you step foot in East Lansing. And that was really one of the first games I saw significant time as a freshman, and uh, you know it was. It's something that you understood quickly. If you didn't know coming into the game, you understood quickly.